I am glad that you are with us again today. I do trust and hope that you are doing well, that you are healthy and things are going well for you and those closest to you. Again, we're coming to you from our prayer cove. We can't be together as we would want, but it's a reminder that we need to remain close to the Lord and continue to take opportunities as have been afforded to us to reflect upon some promises, to consider them into our lives. Uh, we've been looking at some of those promises specifically from Psalm 91, in particular verses 14, 15, and 16. We've kind of talked about how God promises to rescue us. We looked at that Sunday, and God also promises us to protect us or to set us high, to guarantee, to give us security, and he does that through the promise of his Holy Spirit. Today, I want us to look at verse 15, because God promises that those who will call upon him, he will answer them. If you pray, God will answer you. Now, I don't know if you're one of those evil sinners who's always screening phone calls, but many of us sometimes do that because maybe we don't recognize the number or we're not able to really take the time or we know exactly who it is like the in-laws and we prefer not to have a conversation. But when it comes to God, God doesn't screen your phone calls. God never puts you on hold other than perhaps in his answer to you. God will never transfer you to anybody else. God is there to answer, to listen to those who call upon him. In fact, this is a sound that you will never hear when you pray to the Lord. A number of years ago, my wife was working at the Monroeville Mall and we were fairly newly married and we had had our daughter Sarah and it was one of those nights where near the holidays she was working late at the toy store that she worked at and I was home with Sarah and it came time for her to come home after the closing of the mall and nine o'clock became ten o'clock and in those ancient of days there were no cell phones 10 o'clock became 11 o'clock 11 o'clock became 11 30 I am pacing the floor, frantic about the well-being of my wife. My wife finally comes in and everything's fine. But for those moments, I could not get a hold of her. They were devastating to me. There might be times in your life where you just don't seem to feel that you can actually get a hold of God. That God really hears you that God's listening, that God maybe is just a little bit too busy, a little too preoccupied. He's screening your prayer. But let me share with you this promise that we find in the New Testament for 1 John chapter 5 concerning our prayers to God. 1 John chapter 5, beginning in verse 13, we read, I write these things to you, those who you believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know you have eternal life. That assurance we talked about the other day. And this is the confidence we now have in approaching God, in praying to God, that if we ask anything according to God's will, he hears us. And we know that if he hears us, that we will have whatever we ask in accordance with his will, so that we know we have what we have asked of him. Again, God's answer might be delayed. God's answer might be no. But no, God promises to listen to you, to hear your prayers when you come to him. I pray that you will continue to come to the Lord in prayer, especially during this time, but in all days of your life. In fact, I would encourage you to reach out to someone and maybe ask permission to Pray with them, giving them confidence that God is listening. If they're struggling during this time, if they're hurting, if they have needs, even special request. In fact, I want to go and close this time by again going to the throne of God through Jesus Christ, symbolically at the foot of the cross. Would you pray with me? Father, again, I ask blessings upon your people. And above all, God, they know 
that you're listening. You care so much. You hear all that they say. And I pray, God, they can have confidence in that. Not because of the eloquence of their prayer, but because of your Son, with whom we know eternal life is only found. Again, Father, as we pray, we pray for those to be confident that you hear their prayers. But we certainly pray for those who are most dramatically affected financially and physically by this virus. And Father, for those especially who are on the front lines treating those who've been infected or may be infected by this virus. Bless them, Father. Keep them safe, healthy, strong. I ask this in Christ's name.